Hi everyone, Paolo here. Welcome to the channel where I make how-to videos. It's time to share what I've learned and I'm back with another Unreal Engine tutorial. This is part of the character animation how-to series. In this video, we're going to learn another technique on how to fix broken retargeted animations by baking the IK animations. In this video, we have a character from the marketplace that is rigged with a UE skeleton. However, after retargeting the animation, the animation seems to be broken. We are going to fix the animation by creating a level sequencer, open the broken animation, then redo the IK animations, then bake it as a new animation sequence. Then we'll update the animation blueprint to use a new animation. Let's go. So this is the character that we're using for the for this project. You could grab it from the marketplace. I'll drop a link in the description below. So I open up a third person character here. I already did the basics and added it to my project. I created an animations folder, which is blank, and I created a rigs folder, and I created an IK rig and an IK retargeter. Let me open up the IK rig to show you what that looks like. So I already set up the bone chains. You could check out my previous videos on the basic of setting up uh, IK rig and the IK retargeter. So for this one, for this particular character, you can see that there's some IK information here. There's bones in there used by this mesh. So if I highlight the IK root, you can see it here on the preview and the IK foot left and the IK foot right. Cool. So this is the setup that I did and map everything accordingly. Uh, then I created uh, a IK retargeter from UE5 to that uh, mesh. The source would be the UE5 and the target would be the IK rig we just created. Cool. So I just want to quickly show you how the animation works here. So let's go to the walk in place. Now I'll go to my source here and just highlight the foot. L here. So on the viewport here, you can see the UE5 mannequin that those um, bone information, the IK left and right, they're animated along with the character. So let me just pause this and show you the position of that one. So it's animated, it's following the path of this bone, which I believe is the foot L. So let's go to the right foot foot right so this bone so it's following that trajectory so if I go back to our target here and select the foot here you would see that it's following that same location as well so in order to do that you need to go to that um, left foot <coughs> and make sure that the translation mode is globally scaled so by default it's none so you need to make sure it's global scaled so it would follow that uh, particular bone. And do the same for the right foot and make sure it's global scaled. And make sure to test it out first. Um, also make sure that the root is also globally scaled. So I could go to that animation and export animation. So I'm just going to save it for the, for the time being here and check it out so you can see that the is walking in place and the animation looks right cool so those are the initial setup that you need to do so let me go ahead and delete this next uh, go to the ue5 mannequins folder and go under animations and from here look for the uh, animation blueprint many so we're gonna right click that then we target animation assets and then duplicate we target animation assets. We're going to select that we targeter that we just created, UE5 to that PC. And I'm going to call this PC underscore and change the location to that same folder project and change it to animations and hit retarget. Okay, now that we have the animations created here, um, I'm going to rename this to P uh, AVP PC and just quickly over that. So right now the mesh is the old one. You could quickly fix that if you want, but it doesn't really matter. So from here, go to, under the preview under the mesh. You can select the mesh that you want. So and then click apply to asset. 
So by default, the animation blueprint that was created here, if I go to the anigraph, so by default, the control rig here is using the one from the UE5. So if I go to the content drawer here, go under the character, mannequins, and under rigs, it's using this um, CR mannequin basic foot IK. So we just need to duplicate this and rename this to CR PC foot IK. And then I'm going to move that to the rigs folder that I created here. Cool. Now I'm going to open that up. And first thing I want to do is replace the mesh here. So on the root bone here, right click and select refresh and then select uh, select mesh. Then select the mesh that we need to use. Cool. When I save that, that should work now. Now I need to jump back to that animation blueprint. And from the control rig class here, I'm just going to swap that with the CRPC foot IK. Compile, save, that should fix everything. Because the character that we're using here is using the, all the IK bones from the UE5, so it should work without ch tweaking anything on the graph here. Cool. So next, let's go back to the content drawer. Go to the third person character here under blueprints. Go under the viewport under the mesh and then select that new character so that is this guy PC mesh you would see it's deformed now we need to swap the animation blueprint to that new blueprint that we just created hit compile save and if we test it out everything looks good it's running it's jumping but there's something wrong with the jump here so with the jump animation if I can jump if you notice the feet it's sinking to the ground and then going back up similarly if I do like a foot IK here you would see that the feet is not really it's um, sinking inside the actual ramp so the problem here is the animation that we have because of the if I go open up the retargeter here is the location of this bone so the Characters that uses some sort of boots or some sort of uh, heels will have a higher bone than the target source. So if I go here to the target and select the foot R for this character, you would see that the balls of the feet is there. If I look at the location here, it's saying it's at around 22. When it retargets it to the character that we have here, so if I go back to the source, to the target here and select the foot uh, right you would see it's around 27 so what's happening is it's retargeting that position for the retargeting at this space 22 when the uh, character mesh is around 27 so that is causing some problems with the animation so if I quickly show that again because he's wearing some sort of boots it's gonna sink down on the ground and then go back up so to fix this we only need to fix one animation so if I go here and look at the idle so this idle animation is the one we need to fix when the character switches from jump back to idle it's gonna look at the location of the IK so that's the one we need to fix cool so let's jump back into here into our level I'm gonna go into this folder and I'm gonna create a new folder called sequencer cool and from here I'm gonna click here and say add level sequence and I'll add it there on that sequencer folder name is fine now I'm gonna go back here and go to my models pre-made characters and drop this character in here and then I'm gonna add that actor here and I'm gonna select the animation the idle animation to here once the animation is loaded I'm gonna right click that and say edit with FK control rig it's gonna give me this options there's nothing to change on this options let's go ahead and create and that would create the character animated with all the uh, keyframes created so if I expand the FK control rig here and search for foot 
you would see this option. So the IK foot here and foot right, we don't want this keyframe. So I'm going to delete all of these, select all of that. And first, let's do the IK left. Uh, click on the snapper here and you'll have this control uh, rig in this section. So select the actor, that will be the control left, the IK left foot. And then the parent would be the, the, the actual foot that's going to follow. And then scroll down here and click snap animation. It's going to create new keyframes for us for that animation. Now we need to do the same for the other foot, for the right one. So click on snapper here, uh, children. And this one is the parent. And click on snap animation. So that's going to create all the keyframes for us for that one. Next, we're just going to right click and say bake animation sequence. And from here, I'm going to go to the animations folder that I have, and I'm going to name this PC Idle. It's going to give me this option, export animation, and say yes. Now, if I open that PC animation, you should see there shouldn't be any difference. But now, let's go back to our animation blueprint here. Go under the locomotion, and go under Idle, and we're going to swap this PC idle with the new animation we just created. So hook that up like that, compile, save, and let's test this out. So to close this out, just go ahead, close it, and you'll go back to the normal mode. The character would still be there, but now the animation should work better. So if I jump, my feet is planted solid. And if I do the foot IK on a ramp here, my foot shouldn't there you go my foot shouldn't sink in the ramp and let's try it out here on the other ramp there you go so there you go so that's how you would fix uh, and tweak some animations if they don't look right you need to bake the animation so for this instance it's only the uh, idle that we need to do but if there's some animation that doesn't look right, you would need to do it for each individual animation. Cool. So hope you like this video. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Cheers. Bye for now.